This screencast is going to show you how to download a PDF and save it to your Chromebook. So your teacher shared with you the PDF either to a Space and Earth textbook or a biology textbook. Either way, the process is the same. So we're going to go in and we're going to download this PDF. It may take a moment because it is a large file. Now, once downloaded, we're going to access it in a different way. We could access here from the download manager, but I want to show you a different way as well. So we're going to go in, close that up, close this window completely, just again to go through the process and show you how you can access it later. So if I want to go in and I'm offline and I'm at home and I need to access the textbook, well, it's stored now on your Chromebook. You don't have to be online to get to it. So to get to it, you're going to go to your launcher. And in your apps launcher, you should see this icon right here for files. Now, if for some reason you don't see it there, you can expand all the applications and you'll be able to find that same application, in this case, the files folder right here. So there's two places to find it, here or in the quick view up here. Either way, select that file folder, and then this is what you get. You have your Google Drive on the left-hand side here, but at the top it says My Files and then underneath Downloads. We want to select Downloads because that is where the file was stored when you downloaded it earlier. Now, we do not want to keep this file in the Downloads folder because over time, files are erased by the Chrome browser. So we need to move this out of the Downloads folder somewhere else. And where we're going to put it is right here where it says My Files. So select My Files. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a folder in My Files. So I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to title this folder Science textbook. So now I have my downloads folder and now I have this new folder I just created, science textbook. So I'm going to go back into my downloads. I am going to grab this file and bring it into that new folder. Now, because it's in this new folder, Chrome will not erase this folder. This is dedicated files just to you that you want to save and keep. So that's where it's going to be at. So this is a very important step. Make sure you take that file out of downloads, create a new folder, and then put that textbook file in this new folder. So now, if I want to, when I'm at home and I need to access my textbook and I'm not online, I'm not connected to a network, it's always on your Chromebook. I will just go to my app launcher. I go to files. And then in files, I select science textbook. And then there is my textbook that I can open up. And no matter where I'm at, connected online or not, I have the textbook in front of me. And then I can go in and then complete the assignment. So that's a quick look on how to download and save your science textbook to your Chromebook. So we just showed you how to download and save your textbook into your files folder. Now, whenever you want to access it, you can always go into that files folder. But I'm going to show you a quicker way to access your textbook without having to do all those multiple clicks into your file folder. So let's go and find our textbook again. So again, we're going to select the launcher. We're going to go into files. We are going to select science textbook. And there is our textbook file. I'm going to double click to open that. And you'll notice it takes me into the Chrome browser. Well, pretty much everything you do on a Chromebook happens within the Chrome browser. And because it's in the browser, I can save this textbook as a bookmark in the browser. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go now up here to the little star. I'm going to select that. I am going to rename this just really quick here and call this the textbook and I want to make sure it's right here in my bookmarks bar and then I'm going to select done. When I do so you'll notice right up here in my bookmarks bar there is the bookmark for my textbook. So now what happens is if I close out my browser, I close out my, my files, 
every time I open Chrome, that bookmark will be here. And I can select my textbook right from the bookmarks bar, and it opens right up. So this is a quicker and more efficient way of accessing your textbook within the Chrome browser, and I highly recommend that you take the steps to do that.